In this video, we're going to look in more depth at the results that you get after running a quantum chemistry calculation. So I just did a quantum chemistry calculation to get the energy of formaldehyde. At this point, I have additional information in the molecule tab. I still have this sort of basic info, and now I have files. So the files that I have here are the input file, which is the input submitted to QChem. This is what I set up in the calculation in the previous video. And then I have the output file, which is the full text file from QChem. This has a lot of information about exactly how the calculations are run, but most of the critical information can be accessed directly through IQMO. The FCheck file is not an easy to read file. This file contains all the information that the computer needs in order to visualize the molecular orbitals. So we'll look at visualizing those in just a second. So we also have the atoms and the bonds, which were the same from when we set up the molecule. And now we also have the surfaces tab that can be expanded. So before we looked at the electrostatic potential surface, but now there's an option for looking at the orbitals. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on that. Here it brings up some information about the orbitals. In this window, I can hover or I can click on any of these lines, which will show me the energy of the orbitals in hard trees, which is the units that are used in quantum chemistry. I can also generate a picture of the molecular orbitals using an ISO value. This would plot the orbital at a given density value, or I can plot a percentage of the electron density, meaning that something like 90% of the electron density would be contained in the surface that's shown. I'm going to go ahead and plot an ISO value surface, and the precise value you use here will depend on what's visually useful for you. I, use, I find that 0.1 is generally a good compromise between looking at an orbital that's too spread out and not being able to see it at all. By default, the highest occupied and lowest unoccupied orbitals are what would be calculated. You can also look at any of the molecular orbitals within the molecule by expanding this range. You'll notice that the orbitals that will be calculated are designated as alpha orbitals. These are the orbitals corresponding to the spin-up electrons. In the case of a restricted calculation, which is what was done, the alpha and beta orbitals are going to be equal. So it doesn't matter which one I look at, they will be equivalent. I also have options for plotting the total density and individual spin densities, if that's something that's useful. But I'm going to go ahead and hit Calculate. This will generate the HOMO and LUMO orbitals. And so now the canonical orbitals has a little arrow to expand. Again, I can expand that. Right now the HOMO is selected. If I hover over that, I can see the energy and the ISO value it was plotted at. Same for the LUMO. If you unselect and then select the other one here, you can see the shape of those orbitals. And then you'll also notice that there's this geometries tab which shows the overall energy of the molecule. Because this was just a simple energy calculation, the, there's only one geometry that shows, and this is the total energy of the molecule, again given in Hartree's.